Hey, hey, hey. All right. So this is a continuation of thing. Um, a few of your classmates text and they said that they are still having um, a little bit of, of, of haze or they're struggling a little when it comes to finding a thing. And the truth is, it's there. Uh, you just have to shift your mind so that you can see um, the thing, see the message, see the moral, see the lesson. So this is our learning target. Uh, at the end of this video, you will have some additional tools that will help you to determine the theme of a text. All right? All righty. And it click, click. And it's not clicking. There we go. So when we're thinking about theme, we need to think about um, who's really learning the lesson, okay? So we know that the protagonist, he's complex. He's complex because he goes through, or she, or it, they go through a series of changes. They have uh, conflicting motivations. They have conflicting conflicts. <laughs> Um, they have interactions with other people or other characters which may confuse them or which may cause them to become enlightened. We know that the character will experience conflicts, the struggles, and these struggles will oftentimes create other actions. We know that we can analyze the action to figure out the conflict, to figure out how it affects the whole story, character, the events. And we know we can do the same thing with the conflicts. So we're going to analyze, analyze the character's conflict. And that is something that I want you all to do. If you're still struggling with finding a thing in any story, more specifically the Odyssey, look at Odysseus's conflict. How did he resolve the conflict? Or what happened as a result of the conflict? And I'm not just talking about external conflicts. I'm talking about internal conflicts as well. And then you're going to turn that into a theme statement. So I'm going to use the curiosity the curiosity of Odysseus, uh, which is seen very clearly in the episode of the Odyssey. So what do we know? Instead of sailing home, he decided to explore the mainland and also the home of the Cyclops. Now, what happened as a result of this? Well, this led him and his men uh, to being captured by Polyphemus. A few of his men lost their lives. Uh, they were eaten. And then it also created uh, another series of events. So now that he's captured, right, it's preventing him from his goal, his journey, which is to return home with all of his men. And now he has to figure out, well, how am I going to get out of this situation, right? And even after he got out of the situation, it created him it, or it puts him in a position to be cursed by um, Poseidon. So we just discussed what did his curiosity cost him, right? So what did he learn from it? This is what we do. So as you're reading, I want you to ask yourself, self, you know, what do you know? What is the experiences that, uh, and I just went back to the previous slide. What are the experiences that my character is going through? How do these experiences create conflicts? How do 
they prevent uh, my protagonist from reaching their goal. Okay? So I'm going to show you my, this is going to be the next video I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to show you my thesis statement <clears throat> or my um, summary. So, and yours should, I had it color coded. Yours should be color coded. Uh, I took my colors off because it would have been too much for, uh, too bright for some of your eyes. So, in the episode, The Cyclops, Homer explores the topic of curiosity. This is exactly what you guys need to have in the very first sentence. You're telling me the type of text. You're telling me the name of it. It needs to be in, it needs to be in, um, quotation marks and then you're giving me an academic verb which homer is doing right then the topic of this is just one word i need for you all to just give me one word well why did i come out how did i come up with curiosity well i looked at odysseus actions i asked myself what is this conflict right so he suggests he is referring to Homer. He suggests that curiosity can incur an inauspicious outcome. You guys are like, what is she saying? These are vocabulary words. I need for you to look these up. So, while eating their goat's meat on an offshore island, Odysseus become curious about who or what inhabits the mainland. He and a few of his men set out to explore the mainland. There, they find the unattended home of Polyphemus, the Cyclops. And ah, with the abundance of cheese and other foods, the men want to raid the cave and return to the ship. Odysseus assists that they stay to see who lives in the cave. Honoring Odysseus' request, the men stay and wait for the homeowner to return. Unfortunately, Polyphemus finds offense in the men, the men's intrusion. He eats several of Odysseus' men, holds them, he holds them for he holds them hostage, I'm sorry. Rather than give up, Odysseus and his men devise a plan which prevents more of this needs to be his procreating, his men from dying, ending their I'm going to do ending, I-N-G, ending their entrapment so that they can continue their quest. In essence, Homer believes that one's curious, one curious nature can create harmful situations. And that's it. That's all I'm asking you all to do. Uh, I'm going to talk to you all a little bit later about saving matter, and we're going to really really fine-tune our writing, okay? So, if I were you, I would go back, I would watch this video, I would watch the previous video uh, that I did before about the summary and the central idea so that you all can use that template as a guide. Alrighty, see you later.